Here are six channels you should check if you want to step up your game development game. We teamed up with fellow creators to spread the word about people who inspire, inform or teach about game creation with free and open source software, even if not exclusively. I've known and followed them all for a while now and warmly recommend all these six channels. Game from Scratch, As Game Dev, Dev Duck, Kids Can Code, Born CG and Hard Beast. In this video, I'm not only going to introduce their work, I'll also give you video or tutorial recommendations to discover each of them. Game from Scratch is all about game development, be it news, resources or tutorials. While Mike covers all kinds of game industry events and news, he's consistently put free and open source software in the spotlight, spreading the word around the evolution of Godot, Tald, Inkscape, Gimp and many other tools. I recommend you to watch Why Godot over Unity or Unreal Engine, it's an interesting comparison of the three engines. I really like his website because you get all his news at a glance and you also get the videos as well as a text-based summary, which is super useful. As Game Dev is a channel that helps viewers to elevate their games and inspire others. They're a team of experienced game developers who make educational content on everything related to game creation. On their channel, you'll find development tips, marketing best practices, and reviews of popular programs. They also put out content to motivate you to continue on your game dev journey. They release new videos every week, and you can also follow them on Twitter. Uh, two videos I recommend from them are 10 pro tips for making games at home, because I think we're all concerned by that, how you split your life from your work, and how much do video games cost to make? Five real world examples, because it gives you a reality check as to what it takes to make commercial games. Next is DevDoc. Ben's a full-time software engineer and hobbyist game developer trying to balance his job with his passion project Dolphin. It's a game made with Godot where you control a marine biologist on a quest to save the world's oceans and marine life. On DevDoc, you'll find devlogs that explain how Ben implements big new features in his game while living a balanced and healthy life. You can watch the tools I use for Indie Game Dev, where he lists the programs and hardware he uses for work, it's always useful to see. The other one would be How to Become a Morning Person, which uh, is the twist in Ben's channel, where he not only gives you devlogs that show his progress, he explains how he stays productive, healthy, balancing his family life, his work and his passion project. Kids Can Code is a project to teach kids and teenagers to code. They think it's never too early to start learning how computers work. If you want to teach programming to your children, they have excellent free resources. It's not only for kids though, they have tutorials that will benefit everyone. I always recommend their Godot Recipes website where they publish short tutorials that tackle a specific problem. You'll learn plenty of essential tips and techniques there and it's for all experience levels. They teach kids and adults alike to create games as it's a great way to learn programming and have fun at the same time. They teach both Python and Godot which they found to be a great tool for beginners to learn modern game development. I recommend on the video side, Circle Jump. It's a mobile game creation series and the final project looks really slick and covers many things. And as I mentioned, the Good Recipes website, it's a website you must bookmark if you are learning or using Godot. It's a gold mine. Born CG is a channel about learning technology simply. Colin teaches IT, computer science and media in high school and he's been leading summer camps with elementary and middle schoolers since 2006. There, he teaches video game design, stop motion, 3D animation and more. His channel used to focus on using Blender for animation and using the Blender game engine. In 2019, he made a 3D game tutorial series for Godot. It's about developing a maze game. He's now working on a 2D platformer series. He also incorporated Godot into his IT classes for students in grade 9 and 10. So he has a really nice accessible style and he's used to make his videos accessible to a wide audience. I recommend you to watch Creating a Simple 3D Game in Godot. It's a complete series to get you started with 3D game creation in the engine. And his Blender 2.8 intro series is quite interesting as well if you want to do 3D, animation, 3D game assets in general. 
Hard Beast, also known as The Other Ben, is a professional game developer and instructor I've recommended before on the channel. He's been making game dev tutorials for years, initially with a focus on Game Maker, and now on Godot. He is working on an RPG inspired by Pokemon, I think, and he shares his progress through devlogs. I've already recommended his excellent action RPG series on the channel, it's beginner friendly, and so this time I'll add his resource-based inventory in Godot 3.2, a recent intermediate level tutorial. And that does it for this list. You'll find a similar video on each of their channels as we're doing this as a creator's collab. At GDQuest, we also offer tutorials on our channel and lately more so on our website where we have written content. Everything we release here or on gdquest.com is open source available under the Creative Commons license. The website's now translatable and any help in that regard is most welcome. You'll find the link in the description to get started doing that. You can support us financially by getting our course 2D Secrets. That's in very early access right now, but that's going to pack a lot of punch. And with that, I thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun, and let's see one another in the next one. Bye-bye.